Today we'll be making this Asian fusion style chia pudding. It's super easy, delicious, and healthy. All you have to do is prepare this before bedtime and then by the time you wake up, you have a delicious breakfast ready. Let's get started. So we're gonna make our chia pudding and this will be the basis of all four flavors. In the measuring cup, we're gonna add three tablespoons of chia seeds, then add two third cups of coconut milk. Mix well. Depending on how sweet you would like, add one to three teaspoons of honey or maple syrup. I've used maple syrup here. Mix well. Then store it in the fridge for at least two hours or overnight. It should look something like this. It's thickened and we can layer it with the different flavors now. So our first flavor, we're gonna make this mango pomelo chia pudding, not sago chia pudding. And we're gonna open up our mango like we would open up an avocado. With a sharp knife, cut the mango lengthwise around the pit. Then we're gonna twist it around and pull it apart gently. Now we're gonna create a grid with your knife. Apply enough pressure just to cut to the skin, but not through the skin. Then flip your mango inside out. Then we're gonna trim off the mango cubes from the skin. Now let's tackle the pomelo. Using a sharp knife, we're gonna cut off the top and bottom of the pomelo. Then we're gonna cut vertically to remove the skin. Try to remove as much pith as you can, but try not to cut into the flesh. Now positioning the pomelo onto the side and we're going to cut the pomelo into half. Now using the membrane as a guide, we're going to cut from the top to the bottom and separate the segments. Remove the segments from the papery wall membranes. This method actually makes it easy to keep the segment as a whole. Although for this chia pudding, we don't really need the whole segment, we just want the loose bits. But if you want to eat it as a whole, then this is a really good method. Now we're gonna assemble our pudding with chia pudding and then mango cubes and then pomelo bits and then we're gonna repeat this process until we fill it to the top. Just make sure you have a little bit of room to finish it off with some coconut chips as a topping. You can enjoy it now or put a lid on and store it in the fridge until you're ready to eat it. Up next is Osmantha sweet rice wine chia pudding. We're going to start our first layer with our rice wine and we're going to sprinkle some dry osmanthus flowers. Then layer it with chia pudding. And top it up with some more rice wine and finish it off with some more dry flowers. Dun dun dun! By the way, this is a really refreshing one. Up next, we're going to make this rose and cardamom chia pudding. So we're going to make the chia pudding in the same way, except that we're going to add an extra ingredient at the very end, which is rose water. And I have these cardamoms, which I'm going to grind them. This is the end product, and I'm going to set it aside. Then we need some pistachio to garnish at the end. Same thing, grind them and set it aside. Now I'm going to show you the lazier, no fuss version, which you just add the chia pudding into the jar and then you just sprinkle some cinnamon and grinded cardamoms and pistachios. And finally, we're going to garnish it with some edible rose buds. And if you want a nicer presentation, then what you're going to do with the chia pudding is divide it into half and half of it, you're going to add a couple drops of red food coloring. And then you're gonna layer it into different colors. I'm just gonna do one white and then one red and then everything else is the same. Woo! Now we're gonna make this taro and purple sweet potato chia pudding with coconut flakes. And this is how a purple sweet potato looks like. We're going to use the peeler to remove the skin. Then cut it into small pieces. And this is how a taro looks like. Now using a knife, we're going to chop off the skin. We're using a knife because the peeler won't work with the thick skin here. Then cut it up into smaller chunks. Now we're going to steam it. Add water to a large saucepan, about an inch. Then place a steaming rack into the saucepan. Then add your potatoes and cover with a lid. And bring water to a boil and cook for about 10 minutes. To test to see if they're cooked through, poke it with a fork or a paring knife. If the utensil slides easily all the way to the center, then they're done. Now I'm going to use a potato ricer to mash my taros and potatoes. You can also use a fork or a spatula. Then add some coconut milk and mix well. 
If it's too dry, add some more coconut milk, but make sure you don't overwork your potatoes to prevent a gummy texture. We want a creamy kind of texture. Then add one to two teaspoons of maple syrup. Now for extra flavoring and coloring, I'm gonna add about two teaspoons of ubi extract. Mix well. Now for a nice presentation, I'm gonna swirl the potato around the jar, but you don't have to do that. You can just layer it however you want. Then we're gonna add our chia pudding. Finally, we're gonna top it with our coconut flakes. And then we're done. So pretty. So you saw how easy it was, um, and so for the next episode, we'll be making more chia pudding with more unique flavors, so stay tuned. We'll be in the next episode here. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.